What's up, guys? I'm here with Alex today, who's going to tell me all about the Spud monitor. Just for a little bit of background, this is a portable monitor that's being kickstarted right now, way surpassed the Kickstarter goal. Congratulations. Thank you. But it's something that I've been really excited about for a while, so I'm super excited that Alex is here today to give us a little bit more information on it. So thank you for stopping by. Oh, thank you, Trisha. It's a pleasure to be here. Right now, we have it fully extended, so it doesn't look very portable right now. It's a 24-inch monitor, and I do apologize. It's a little hard for us to film with the lighting to give you guys the full effect, but it looks absolutely beautiful. So you're the co-founder, co-creator. Tell me a little bit about how this idea came to be. So I was traveling all over the world. My background's optical engineering, so designing things like a projector-based system, telescopes, lasers. I needed a large and portable monitor and nothing existed. I wanted my desktop size screen everywhere. You can get one of those big gaming laptops, but they're so heavy. Well, not only that, they're usually only 17 inches. So in terms of screen area, Spud is you know two or three times bigger than that. There's just not a portable large monitor that exists, and everyone prefers a large screen for pretty much everything. Spud stands for the Spontaneous Pop-Up Display. Okay. Now, what a lot of people are saying, and why I'm excited about this, why a lot of people are excited about this, is because it's more than just a portable projector, which which you could certainly bring to your hotel room with you in that case, but then you have to find the right lighting in the room. You have to find a wall that's gonna work unless you're traveling with a screen. So this kind of takes care of all of that for you. Yeah, even then, you know, if you did have some sort of portable screen and you know, we're the first ones to make one that can fully collapse. There's just so many things that inhibit a typical portable projector from being portable. You just can't use it everywhere. You know, we have this backing on the back of Spud to help with contrast. You, you could use this anywhere, yeah. even if there are no walls. Which yeah. is really cool. Yeah, exactly. So it, it takes a portable big screen anywhere. And you know, we were the first ones to ever make a, a truly collapsible screen. Now we've talked a little bit about the screen, um, the non wrinkle projector screen, which is really cool. Some of the other new tech that's put into this has to do with the range of the projector itself. A lot of projectors you see out there require quite a hefty range. How did you get this one so short? I worked with Julie Bentley, who's considered the, the top optical lens designer in the world. And so we collaborated on this lens that's right out of it. Well, right back here. Right back here. <laughs> right back here. We'll show so, you in a second. So normal pocket projector, the best ones, we would be talking about projecting, you know, a good, you know, yard or so at least. Yeah. So, so what we had to do is reduce that in more than half um, and do it while not drastically increasing weight and also maintaining a full high definition image up front. But the screen looks fantastic. I, I know it's not as easy to capture. I say this every video I do at CES. I'm like, I'm sorry that you can't see what we, I'm we, seeing we promise it looks on good. camera, but it looks really awesome to me. And I'm not just saying that because Alex is sitting right here. Like I'm genuinely excited about this product. What are some of the other differences between the prototype as we're seeing it here and what will be the final delivery? Um, brightness, it will be 25 to 50% brighter. And you can adjust the brightness. Yeah, so right? we have the, we'll have the dial in the back on this version there's a PCB button that on the, the printed circuit board that we press to, to change it. Yeah. The screen material will be slightly optimized to even improve the contrast beyond what we're doing right here. There will be a button so you just press it and collapse butt in one motion but as we'll see soon it's <laughs> it's still super easy. It's just like an umbrella. We're the first people to do that and the, the confluence of all that creates the first collapsible display. Right? There's so many cool uses <laughs> for it though. Like you know we're talking about like watching movies or gaming while camping. Take it with you on business trips. If you have a presentation you're doing for school or for work, just, you know, pop this sucker out and here you've got a screen for your presentation. It's untethering these experiences that, you know, had to be tethered to your living room or your work area. Yeah. Now they're anywhere. Everyone wants a, a big screen. I need the big screen for multitasking, <laughs> but that's because I like to have a million windows open at the same time. Okay, so we've been talking about how portable this is and how collapsible this is. Let's actually show you how that works. And it's just super easy. You just collapse it, move this slider on the back of Spud. <laughs> and then it's one motion. It makes a really satisfying noise that I hope was caught. It does. Caught. And so it'll be easier in the final version, so you have to fold back these arms like this. Uh, but still, you know, well less than 30 seconds. And so. now this right here is what you're expecting the final size yeah, of so it's, like? Yeah, it's probably something that I'm you know, more conscious of than most people. I mean, it still goes in my bag, but yeah, mm -hmm. we're definitely 
uh, making it smaller as we move to production. And so we're anticipating be able to reduce the size from the one that I use every day that we just showed down about 25% to the one that, that Trish is holding. I'm looking at the ports here on the back. What type of connectivity works with Spud? Yeah, so we made it super simple. We have this HDMI port, so you connect anything. You even have portable gaming. Uh, but you could also you have the USB power out, so you could connect things like Chromecast, the Microsoft wireless adapter that we were showing earlier. You could also use that to charge your phone on the go. Um, you can connect things like compute sticks. So I bought you know one from Lenovo for eighty or ninety dollars from Best Buy, and you basically have a portable twenty-four inch desktop with a, a compute stick on the back. And then there's also power port, obviously. So there's a wall power. It's super easy to use. It's super lightweight. As as unobjectively as I can be, it's the first <laughs> first product that I've been excited about pretty much since smartphones came out. A lot of people, including myself, are really excited about it. Yeah. So I don't think you're alone. No, it's, it's really cool. Uh, <laughs> what are some of the main criticisms that Spuds received so far? I mean, I'd say like, the I'd say the price point. Okay. Like, so, so the price point is four ninety nine is what it's for retail, retail. and the three ninety nine. So like we know that's a lot of money. Like I think it's I think the value is there, but yeah. I, I'm aware that you know you're on Kickstarter and I'm you know really grateful for the support that we've gotten already. Yeah. Um, it's also mm. brand new tech. Yeah. Brand new tech costs money. Um, mm. any of you out there who are tech heads and gadget junkies and you follow this kind of stuff, you know when stuff is new, then that's what it costs. Yeah. So are there ever any plans then to make these in different sizes, different resolutions for your different price point buyers. Oh yeah, no doubt. I mean, we could do custom interfaces. We could do onboard OSs. It's the first collapsible screen, so it's a completely new category. So there's really infinite things we can do. You know, a Kickstarter commenter was asking about a curved screen. Like, <laughs> so it, it's fully flexible, so we could do crazy shapes. That's so cool. I'm just like <laughs> looking at this sitting on the table right now and thinking, okay, you know what? So cool. So I'm about to get on the plane and here I go. I've got my desktop on the go. Yeah, it is really cool. I, like I said, I really love traveling with it. Like, it easily fits in my bag. Cool. Well, thank you so much for showing this to me. This mm -hmm. has been amazing. I've been drooling over it online for a while. Now I get to drool over it in person. Uh, so I'll just, you know, wipe all that off. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, thank you so, so much for talking to us today and for showing this off. Guys, I hope you enjoyed checking out Spud. If you do want to get in on the early bird pricing, like Alex mentioned, it's $3.99 now on the Kickstarter. We're doing uh, early bird. We might have a few left at $3.84, and then we're going to have a final early bird at $3.89. And then okay. for the la last, uh, we'll be $3.99 once all those go. And then if you wait too long, then it's $4.99 with everybody else. With the rest of the normies so uh yeah so guys if you like this video please be sure to like and subscribe thank alex alex where can they find you on social media if they want to say hey i love spud so we're real arovia on pretty much anything absolutely all right guys i'll see you next time bye